Hello, and thank you for choosing John Muir Health for your spine care. This video will serve to help guide you through the preparation, hospital stay, and discharge planning for your upcoming spine surgery. Our multidisciplinary team works in cooperation with your surgeon to help aid your recovery. Your safety and successful outcome are our utmost priorities, and we have several precautions in place to help keep you safe during your stay. So you and your surgeon have decided that spine surgery is necessary to treat your spine condition. Spine conditions range from the top of the neck down to the bottom of the low back. Depending on exactly which part of your spine is affected and your surgeon's recommendations, that will determine which surgery is right for you. If questions come up about your surgery, please contact your surgeon's office. If you have any current or chronic medical conditions, these will be assessed by the Perioperative Evaluation and Management Clinic, where health professionals will review your medical history and order any new tests to evaluate your medical status before your surgery. If there are any unresolved medical issues or conditions that would put you at increased risk for complications during and or after surgery, the clinic staff will contact your surgeon to communicate the relevant issues and determine a path of action prior to your surgery being performed. It's never too early to think about what you will need after you leave the hospital. If you have capable family members at home, they can help monitor your progress and provide some help and encouragement in the early days while you recover at home. Friends and neighbors can also be a valuable resource to provide assistance. If you are in need of help, case managers at the hospital may discuss options such as hiring daytime help, home health care services, or placement in a skilled nursing facility. There are several things you can do to help prepare for your surgery. Nutrition optimization has been shown to improve outcomes in certain types of surgeries. It is also important to review your instructions regarding which medications you should continue and which you should stop before your surgery. Some medications can be taken on the morning of surgery while others should be avoided. Finally, don't forget to prepare your home. Get rid of any clutter or objects that are hazards for tripping. Watch for loose electrical cords or rugs. Ensure proper lighting in areas where you may have stairs in your home. Arrange common things you use in the kitchen and the bathroom to be within reach of your waist to shoulder height so that you are not reaching or bending. Clear pathways you commonly use such as from your bed to your bathroom, the kitchen area, and living area. You will check into the admission area on the morning of surgery. Only bring essential items that you need, such as glasses, hearing aids, comfortable clothes, and non-slip footwear. Following registration, you will be directed to the pre-surgery area where nursing staff will review your surgery information. Final preparations are performed here. These include such things as starting an IV line in your arm and cleansing the area of surgery with special soap and cleansers. You will meet your anesthesiologist and your surgeon prior to your operation. Any final questions and concerns can be addressed at this time. Following your surgery, you will be taken on a hospital gurney to the recovery ward where nursing and anesthesia staff will monitor your condition. Once you are more alert, you will be transferred by gurney to your hospital room on the surgical ward and gently moved to your regular hospital bed. The time spent in the recovery room can vary depending on different factors. Visitors are not allowed in the recovery room, but they can see you when you arrive at your hospital room. We understand how important visitors are to the emotional and physical well-being of our patients. Our visitor policy is responsive to current conditions and can be found on our website at johnmirhealth.com. Here are some things you can practice to prepare for your physical therapy after surgery. Log roll, 
getting in and out of bed, good posture, avoiding bending, lifting, and twisting. With modern surgical techniques, early mobility is highly encouraged. In fact, most surgeons want you to be able to get out of bed and take a few steps on the day your procedure is performed. Depending on the type of surgery, your surgeon may have you wear a brace after surgery. Different types of braces are used for various procedures. If you were provided a brace at the surgeon's office prior to surgery, make sure to bring it as part of your other belongings. If no brace was provided, arrangements will be made to have a brace delivered to the hospital for you. You might be required to wear your brace full time. Other times, it may be necessary to use the brace only when you are walking around and out of bed. Specific instructions can be discussed with your surgeon. We commonly use a 0 to 10 pain scale to assess your level of pain and provide medications accordingly. For some patients who have been on pain medications for a long time, the body has adapted and it can be more difficult to obtain better pain management even with higher doses of pain medications. Our surgery team is always weighing the risks of higher doses of narcotic medications versus complications with those stronger medications. You should be able to get into a standard car to get home. Ask for assistance if you need help getting in and out of the seat. Once you get home, please review the hospital discharge instructions. Sometimes your usual medications may be temporarily adjusted based on your status in the hospital. These can include pain medications, blood pressure medications, and diabetes medications. Stay hydrated. Drink enough water so that you are able to urinate regularly. Practice good hygiene to prevent urine infections following your surgery. Surgery and the use of pain medications are associated with constipation. Medications such as Colace and Miralax may be used to regulate bowel movements. The general principle of wound care is to keep the surgical area clean. Do not soak the wound, take a bath, or swim until allowed by your surgeon. Showers may be allowed. Similarly, if you are familiar with changing dressings to cover your wound, ask how often this should be done. Driving is not recommended immediately after surgery. You will need to wait until you are not regularly taking pain medications and until you have coordination and strength to safely operate a vehicle. We hope this video helps you feel prepared for your upcoming spine surgery. John Muir Health wants your surgery to be safe and result in long-term success. It might be tough immediately following surgery, but steady progress is what you can look forward to. If questions come up after surgery, questions about pain medicine, activity restrictions, or your wound, please call your surgeon's office. If there are more general medical questions, questions about medications you took before surgery or other health conditions, please call your primary care doctor. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing John Muir Health as your partner in care.